Hello guys and my valued viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before. Big news for Dana are just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Danar news, hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. The idea of removing three zeros from a currency's exchange rate is often referred to as a read nomination, and it can have a significant impact on how the value of a currency is perceived. Currently, if you take the exchange rate of the Iraqi diner against the US dollar, you would find that one dollar is worth approximately 1,310 Iraqi dinars. When you divide one dollar by this exchange rate, you get a very small number, about 0.0007643, which is much less than one cent. This low value can make the currency feel almost worthless in practical terms, especially when comparing it to stronger currencies like the US dollar or the euro. Now, if you were to remove three zeros from this exchange rate, essentially shifting the decimal point three places, you would turn that 0.000 7643 into 0.76. This is a much larger, more substantial number. Suddenly, instead of the diner being worth a fraction of a penny, it would be worth around 76 cents to the dollar. While this doesn't actually change the underlying economy or the real value of goods and services, it makes the currency seem more valuable. This psychological shift can help boost confidence in the currency both domestically and internationally. Furthermore, redenomination can simplify transactions and accounting, making it easier for people to understand prices and do business. Imagine going to a store, and instead of dealing with prices in the thousands or millions, you could use much smaller, more manageable numbers. This change can make everyday life feel a bit smoother for citizens. It can also reduce the number of physical banknotes needed, as smaller denominations become more useful. However, it's important to note that this is largely a cosmetic change. It doesn't directly create value by itself. To create real value for the currency, you would need to look at the broader economic picture, including factors like inflation government debt and non-oil revenue streams, which play a big role in Iraq's economy. The real effective exchange rate, REAR, comes into play here. This is a measure that adjusts the nominal exchange rate, the one you see in the market, by taking into account factors like inflation and the balance of trade with other countries. If Iraq can diversify its economy, moving away from heavy reliance on oil and increasing revenue from other sectors, the rear could improve, which would reflect an actual increase in the purchasing power of the diner. So while dropping three O's might make the currency seem stronger and more valuable on paper, the real challenge is improving the economy to ensure that this perceived strength translates into real value. This would require a mix of economic reforms, investment in other industries, and careful management of inflation in government spending.